Hey guys, it's Jill from Fuzzy Crafts. The format for today is going to be a little bit different. I am going to go ahead and record this on my phone. I do not know how long the video will go. I'm going to try not to be very long because make this make this short today because I'm going out of town. So Thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate you all so, so very much. I appreciate all that you guys are, have done for me, watching my videos, um, subscribing to my channel, participating in my crochet along, buying my pattern, being a part of my Patreon, supporting me in so many different ways, sending me things and cards, and I, I could not be more thankful I'm just so, so grateful for you guys. And now we are now over 1,600. So thank you so very much to all of you. I'm so glad you're here. So let me get on with it. <laughs> this video is not going to be edited because I'm doing it on my phone. Normally I record with my GoPro and then I update, I upload it and I edit it and then it goes in with all of the doodads. No doodads, and for the next few videos, probably no doodads because whatever I am able to do this next week will be from my phone. So bear with me because there may be some bumps and bobbles along the way, but no editing. So you guys get to enjoy more vlog style instead of uh, video edited style. <laughs> I may go ahead and put some pictures and things on um, after everything gets uploaded, if I can figure out how to get all that done. But anyway, <laughs> we'll see, because I haven't done things that way in a while. I do want to announce that I did draw a winner for the raffle in the Facebook group, and that winner, I put a video up here so you would have seen that, is Daniel Haywood Stone, and he is the dyer behind Paw Ply Yarns that I have a collaboration going with. Congratulations, Daniel. He is so over the moon that he's going to get my shawl that I made. So that means that means so much that, that those things are, that they, they go to somebody who really, really appreciates your work and stuff. So congratulations, Daniel. And then I chose for giveaways, that was the the two boxes and that was at the end of my podcast and it was for February. So these are not, the raffle was for March, but the, the February giveaways, I chose two people and the first one is Lady Bird Loves. And if you guys don't know Lady Bird, you really need to go over and check her out because she has, she's a woman of many talents. She's, she's very good with um, she did interviews. She is doing interviews. She did an interview with me and she is very good at that. And she does a lot of great interviews with a lot of different people from different crafts and different things. And it's, it's, it's really fun to, to watch these interviews. So go check those out. And then she crochets. She has a, she has a lovely cat named, uh, Beanie that is always around and she does spotlights with Beanie. She does creator, um, building creator bridges where she does shout outs for people. And if you would like to be shout out, have a shout out done, just contact her. So I'll leave her link after this post. I'll leave a link for her down below so you can go check her out. But Lady Bird won one of the giveaways. And the other winner is Ginger Bedell. Ginger, congratulations. I will get a box of stuff out to you. However, it will not be till I get back from New Orleans <laughs> because I'm not going to be able to get that packed up and out of here before I leave. Um, I'll be leaving in the morning and today is Tuesday the 9th, I believe. Of March 2001 2021 so yeah I don't think that any of that stuff is gonna get put out until I get back 
I'm very sorry. I it's just it's just how it is. I have got to get packed. I've got to get the car vacuumed out because <laughs> I took Duke today for his shots. Well, he was a very good boy. He weighs a hundred and three. This is our great Pyrenees mix. And he is a big boy. But he did so good. He didn't even flinch about all the shots and, you know, all that stuff. He just, he doesn't like the leash. And he doesn't like being told what to do. Because, you know, he gets to roam around out here and do whatever he wants. And you put him on the leash and he just drops. He's like, not moving. I'm not going. Mm -mm. So... <laughs> Is that you, Duke? <laughs> I think he's around the corner listening. He got to come in when we got back, and he got his bowl of, uh, of food with milk on it, and he loves his milk. So he had gotten into the the habit of that when when Aridan was alive, and she would come in. They, they get to come in when there's bad weather, when it's really, really hot because it got so much fur and I don't want him to burn up. So he got used to having his milk. So he did really great. So I've got to get the car done. Anyway, I'm rambling because I'm thinking of all the things I need to do before I go. So the raffle, the pa oh, and I released my pattern, guys. So this is what you see behind me. This is my pattern, my, my newest design, my very own design, and it's called the Willow Arches Shawl. It is a crocheted shawl. You will have seen the tutorial and all of those things. So look for those videos where I release this to you, and I will have the links to where you can get the pattern down below after this post also. So... Yeah, so excited. I'm, I've sold several already, and I really, really want to say thank you so much to all of you who have bought it and those of you who are making it. Be sure and uh, send me an email with a picture of it when you get it done or post it on the Facebook group if you haven't already joined. And you can tag me on Instagram if you want to do it that way, but I'd love to see it when you get it made. So there's that. Okay. Also, yesterday I showed... What did I show? What did I show? Um, I did get a package from Daniel at Popeye Yarns. Getting to finish my coffee from before I took Duke to the vet. Let me get that real quick. Let me just get these down for you guys so you can see. I can't edit, so. Just bear with me because I can't stop it. I won't be able to edit this video. So Daniel at Paw Paw Yarns was kind enough to do a special order for me. So if you did not see the live, that's why I'm showing this to you. Looky how beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? So he's he did a special order. It's on, on Silver Sparkle. This one is called Mermaid. This one is called Twinkle Toes. And this one is Heart of the Ocean. And you know I had to have that one. So I will leave links for him down below also. And he was so kind to donate one for you guys. So this is the giveaway for this week after the live. So go over to the live after you watch the replay of the live and put, post a comment below that and you will win a chance. You will get a chance at this. And on it, there is a little stitch marker. See the little angel? And that was made by Victoria over at Nightingale Crochet. And she sent that to me when I with the earrings that I got from her. So yes, go over and watch the live and you will see that also. Uh, 
So whoever does win that, I will do my best to pick the winner for that um, next week. And whoever does win, it will again, it will get shipped out when I get back from New Orleans. Okay, what else? Um, if this video, <laughs> I don't want this video to be too awfully long, but I did get my Mary Maxim order. Now, this box has both something I ordered and also, well, I ordered all of it, but a mystery box. So I ordered a kit along with an extra doll. So here's the little doll that comes with this kit. It's a little five inch doll with movable arms and movable legs, movable head, cute little things. And then I got, I got so I have a Caucasian and I have a um, colored. So, but the kit comes with, the cock, with, with one doll, but I wanted to have one of each so that I could make choices. So I'm gonna take this with me and see if I can get this done while I'm in New Orleans, but this is the kit. And it's called a cradle purse. So see, it's when it's laid down here, it has a cradle and then you pull it up and then you make a little purse to be carried. And it comes with the yarn to make one. Gray, a white, and a pink. And the white is there. The white is a Mary Maxim Baby's Best. If you get a chance to get some of this, guys, don't hesitate. This is nice. This is very nice stuff. And then they sent their starlet in a pink and a gray. This is four weight. This one is a three weight. Or they say two, but it's a two three. Uh, it's probably a two. I would say it's a two. Anyway, and then the gray. And this feels really nice also. So this is my first time um, getting some of their starlet yarn. So that was really neat to get that in that kit so that I can see what it felt like. So that together with the Caucasian doll, and I wanna say that this kit was 20 something. And then the extra doll is $6.99. Now, if you guys know of another place to get the dolls, let me know because I've been looking to buy them in bulk but I haven't been able to find them where they were any cheaper than $6.99, so. Now my mystery box, I got three of the Premier Toy Box. I'm gonna go through this pretty quick, but three of the Toy Box, and this color is finger paint. And it's a uh, five bulky, 109 yards, 100 meters, 100 grams, 100% 100 acrylic, made in Turkey. And back in the bag back in the bag and then I got three of these which is uh, Liebegemacht mit Liebegemacht which means made with love in German this is the Hund, Hunderbeitsgarn Bern and it is 100 grams 60 meters 100% polyacrylic, and it's, this is a six weight. So 60 meters, and I got three of those in this brown color.
And then there were two of these, which are a number five weight, no, a number six weight. And it's Bernat Softy Chunky, but the tweets, aren't these pretty? This one is called Tweed Hyacinth. 97% acrylic, 3% viscose, 80 grams, 2.8 ounces, 84 yards each. So there's that one. Then I received two of the Vanna's Choice, not Vanna's Choice, Vanna's Glamour. And you know, I have looked at this yarn and then just haven't bought it until, so it's really nice to get this. It's called Red Stone. Lion Brand, Vanna's Glamour. And these are a number two, 96% acrylic, 4% metallic polyester. It took me a minute before to find this also, so hang on. Do not remember where I saw. 50 grams, 202 yards, 185 meters. So quite a bit in there. And there's two of those. There's one of the Mary Maxim Scrub It. Which is a number four weight. So it's a ribbon that's 100% cotton with fringe. Which is exactly what it is. It's a cotton strand with a fringe. Very interesting. Feels like cotton. Like a cut up t-shirt. Almost. And the color is hot blue, which I really like. So... I may take this with me to New Orleans and make a washcloth while I'm there. There are two, well, let me show you this first. There's three of these, which is Grundle, Lisa Premium. The color is white, and this is a made in Germany. 50 grams, 133 meters. And I would call this a number three weight yarn. So three of those, and then two of these, which was very interesting. I've not seen this before. This is the Patton's Hipster. Uh, pewter is the color. It's a number three weight, but it's this is not. this To me, this is a, I would consider this a, th a two. Three point five ounces, hundred grams, one hundred and ninety yards, or one hundred and seventy four meters. So this is fifty five percent hemp and forty five percent cotton. So at almost four hundred yards, I've got to decide what this would make. I'm thinking a a little top of some sort would be really nice. Probably not for me, but it's not enough. But I have some other I think I can combine with it to make a top. Now, the little dolls were $6.99, the cradle purse kit was $18.99, and the mystery box, which all that I just showed you, is $29.99. And I'm pretty happy with my mystery box. Pretty happy with what I got. They sent me a catalog, a little catalog, and several patterns. A broken rib scarf. This is a waffle dishcloth. I can use that scrub it, scrubby to make. Top down rib socks. In knit. This one is a burnout ridges blanket. And a basket weave cowl. 
This would be pretty with those two. I could use those two purple ones to make the cowl. So I may, I may take some of this with me. We'll see. But that's my Mary Maxim. Okay. We're still going. Things are still going. Looking good. Okay. 20 minutes in. Um, wow. I want to show you my, uh, I can't do that on this video. I think I'll do a separate video here in a little bit and show you my Made in America yarns, but I want to do that one on a separate video. So I'm gonna call this one good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so very, very much. Um, like I said, the videos coming out are probably going to be from my phone without editing, so we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants and see what happens. You guys have a wonderful day and have fun today. Bye, y'all. Talk to you later.